Everybody wants her. Everybody wants her. I want her too, but I want her more. So, oh, free will. We're going to get her in the free will. Right, that's what's going to happen. 100%. Basically guaranteed. I don't actually know if she's full anyway. So basically, this is a limited banish. She is a limited character, which is one of the reasons why I want her the most. But, um, to guarantee her, you need 300 summons. I don't got 300 summons in. So, we gotta get lucky. Cross my fingers that I do manage to get lucky. Uh, yeah. We'll see. So far, the luck is not with us. It's been bad so far. I've heard, I don't actually know for sure, but I've heard Jackie is not good. So, like, getting her is kind of whatever. I think Fidenko's a character. She's one of the ones that I need to build, right? She's the one that dumps the poison. It does a massive amount of damage. Alright, got a five. Let's see what five. Project Red. Project Red. Project Red. People do want her. I don't know what she do, but people were talking about wanting her. I think she's part of this, right? I'm pretty sure. Uh, she is, yeah, 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 she is part of this. Well, here we go. Start eating into the ten poles that I've saved up for the. Oh! My heart. I wish there was a way to just close this out and cancel the summon. Not even a five star. Not even nothing. Like nothing. Nothing. Oh, my heart. <laughs> Don't do that to me again. Pretty please. Oh, daggers! So many daggers! So many Jackies! Oh. This is why, kids, never, ever, ever spend money specifically for polls. It's a terrible idea. Because this is the kind of shit that you can get for your money, right? It is literally gambling. And you're not gambling for the potential return of more money. You're gambling for the return of digital goods for a game that you're unlikely to continue playing for a significant period of time. So like... Like for instance, one of the reasons why I have this many tenfolds is that I bought the, um... What are they called? Whatever. The old... They, in the last time, they ran a limited banner. They called it, like, the Doctor Select pa Selector Pack. Okay, another was for me. Um, and it allowed you to pick from a pool of max rarity characters. I bought that, and I bought the one for this one as well, because, like, regardless of how the polls go, I can guarantee the six-star character at the end of that. That's worth it for me, because I, again, have that guarantee. But without that guarantee, you just saw 20 polls, not a single five-star? How many polls are we in now? Like, 35-ish? Not a single six-star? Don't spend money on a man, it can end poorly. I wish you could, I don't understand why they don't make it so that you can skip the dialogue. You've already summoned the character before. Like, I'm sure shit not paying attention to it right through Whisper Rings. This is like, this is actually like, this is kind of scary. Because this is basically a repeat of the W and Weedy banner for me. I summoned something around like 70 or 80 times on that banner. I didn't get W, I didn't get Weedy. But I got a maxed out, um, Elysium. So I really hope that doesn't happen. Ugh. Jay's good. I like Jay. But uh, it, it is looking like we're doing it. We're doing it again. We're doing it again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dig into the Originite Prime. Originium? Whatever the fuck. Like, we're absolutely... Come on, Rosmontis. Come on, 
Like, I'm certainly not going to complain if I get Mud Rock, right? But, it might not. I think there's a 70% chance for it to be one of the two featured characters, and then it's evenly split between the two. So, 35% chance for Rosmontis, 35% chance for Mud Rock, and then 30% for the entire rest of the six star pool. If I dig into the rest of the six star pool on this one, ooh, I'm going to be salty. You know what's going to be even worse is if I get a six star. And it's a character, I, it's a duplicate, it's a character I already have. Ooh, that'll be the real, that might be an even worse dagger than those first 20 points. Try to give me a maxed out Myrtle though, give me a, give my at least you know, some competition. We really had to put the six star at the end though. Why, I just wade through all of this garbage there, okay. Still good. Still fantastic. Can't complain. Plenty of people are gonna wind up not managing to get Mudrock, and Mudrock's a better hero as well. Like, Mudrock out of the two. Mudrock is way more meta. But I want Rosmontis was my favorite character in Chapter 7. In the story. So, I really want a Rosmontis. Oh, uh, we can skip the rest of this. But still, we got one rock. We got one of the two, right? Now we just got now right here. We just got to get the other one, right? I'm actually not going to. Uh... Bro, two, two. What are the odds? Hang on. What are the odds? Oh, this is rolling through. I want to scope out the odds real quick. So basically, I mean, the odds are really easy. We have two six-star characters, right? A 35% chance to get Rosmontis. So you just flip that around. And so there's a 0.65 chance to not get Rosmontis. You square that. And it's one minus that. So I have a it, I have a 42% chance to not get Rosmontis. Meaning I have a 58% chance, statistically here, to get Rosmontis. Please. Please. Hit me. Baby. One more time. Both at the end again, right? Like the I think the first six star was like five or six, and then the last one was nine. Okay. Yes. Yes. Oh, I'm so happy. Now watch. If the other six star is another new one, I might lose my damn mind. I didn't even I didn't even look at Mudrock's quote. My bad. My bad. My bad. I didn't even look at Mudrock's quote. That's my bad. Still. Boom! I thought I was gonna have to spend all of my premium currency to get this. Your boy getting lucky. I quit Guardian Tales. Because I had horrifically bad luck, and the gameplay loop kind of sucks too. That's, I mean, obviously, like, if it was just die, the game was worth playing beyond that, just bad gotcha luck wouldn't be enough to make me quit, but like, it was horrifically bad gotcha luck. It was bad luck. Very nice. And a Rosmont. And a Rosmont is duplicate. Yeah. I'm happy. And now we just live. From now on, we get one free summon a day. I care about you no more. It's so nice to get both of them. And to wait, did I have to? I didn't use this, did I? I didn't have to use that. I thought I just. I thought I had used some of that. Should I go in on this thing? Let's just use up this right now for now. Let's see if this luck continues and gives me thorns. Could you imagine? Could you? Imagine if I somehow managed to get forwards. I'm so happy, right? Genuinely, okay, so we don't get forwards. But it only took two. Oh, and a new character. I actually have no idea who this is. Look at her being safe. Well, not really being safe. She pulled down the mask to talk. You're not supposed to do that. Don't do that. Don't pull down the mask to cough or to sneeze or whatever. Like, the mask is there to protect people from you doing those things. Relax on that shit. Okay, so. No point in doing it. We can do this later. We can do this later. We can do this later. I got two J's though, right? Hell yeah. 
That's good. We like the minus two. Because I, I actually just, just today, right before I started recording, I finished his third specialization, so. That's pretty cool. What am I doing? Just do this. What is this? Is that new? Or have I just somehow managed to never notice that before? I feel like that, that must be new, right? But still. Hell yeah. And we get DP cost minus one. The best. I really would, like, if I could get improves talent that'd be sick but yeah so let's see i don't think i have enough to um like i don't have sniper tokens to promote her i'm fairly certain actually i'm positive because i just recently promoted platinum to e1 so there's no way i have these yet so we, we got to get those but it's okay we can get those fairly quickly just all this shit up i might have mud rock though <laughs> So I haven't promoted a knight in a while. Or a defender, not a knight. Yeah, it's been a minute since I promoted a defender. So I might have... Might be able to promote her. Which would be cool. But yeah, what happens? Like, what is? Attacks ignore 90 defense. Very nice. That attack range, though? Jesus. That interval increases. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we gotta grind out those real quick. But let's make sure we grab Mud Rock as well. Also, reason like there's so much stuff that I've just been completely ignorant to for absolutely no reason. But like these, I had no idea you could take these into the workshop and upgrade them to the next level. So up until like a week ago, I was just sitting on like 1,300 uh, level one skill books. Like, what the hell do I do with these? I'm never going to be able to use these. You convert them to skill 2, and then you convert those to skill 3, you dumbass. <laughs> I need to explore more. But this is why you, like, really need to thoroughly test your games, because, like, think about that. I've been playing this game for that long, and I've never even discovered that shit. Sometimes things need to be more transparent, you know? None. Okay, so we gotta grind those out too. Good. Boom. Every nine seconds gains one shield stack when a shield is broken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why. That's why she's so good. Like any character, with how tanky she is in the self sustain, she's amazing. But like, I'm not sure exactly how much use I'm gonna get out of her because, um, oh, very nice. Max potential cutter now. And I don't have built. She's a very good character though. A few one of the best four stars for sure but i had to just for a second Oops. i got her now right e2 level 50 maxed out s3 her s3 holy shit she soloed patriot for me in these stages like i was struggling to beat me yeah, i gotta do that new shit too but i was struggling to beat no not that one this one challenge mode on this one with Patriot and I was struggling to beat this one, both of which featured Patriot because he would just show up and dumpster me and then Unecti and then I got Unecti's in there she pops her S3 and she just stands there and face tanks him no healer nothing just destroys him her damage output is insane her sustain is insane like it's a little bit harder to make use of her because of uh, she only gains skill SP when she's blocking the unit. If she's not blocking the unit, she doesn't gain any SP. So you kind of have to premeditate her placement to make sure she has that ready because she would not. If she didn't have her S3 ready to go when Patriot first showed up, he'd just destroy her and move on. But as long as I got that S3 ready, dude, she will tank and murder everything. She's amazing. So, I'm not really sure if I'm going to get that much use out of Mudrock. But what does she do? Has a large healing range, but the healing amount on further targets is reduced to 70%. But this isn't... Huh? Unless she gets a further range... There, it's range increased. I was going to say, like, unless she gets more range... I mean, that's still not... Like, is that including units out here? Because that's not any further away 
than any other healer, right? That's weird. Friendly units with stats resistance within this unit's attack range will restore HP per... Oh, that's pretty cool. Well, 30% per of Whisperade's attack. That's going to be like 30 health, probably. Okay. Probably even less than that. Attack interval reduced. The healing effect of this unit's talent is increased to 110%. Oh, I see, I see. Is granted status resistance for once. Ooh, that's very nice. Unlimited duration. Oh. Uh oh. So she'll heal on top of the talent, right? Wait. No. Yes. Because, so they'll all gain status resistance. Which means they're going to get... Unaffected by this unit's trait. <laughs> What's her trait? Oh, I see, so it doesn't get reduced. Yeah, she seems extremely strong. I got enough to get the attack plus 20. Oops. I really wish... How many summons did I spend? Because there's no... Like, I'm not hitting 300, right? Like, that's just not going to happen. So I can't go and try to get a Lord 7. I can't go and try to get another duplicate of, Ros of Rosmontis or Mudrock. I'd go for Rosmontis, but still, either one. I'm not going to hit 300 summons, especially now that I already have them, right? Which is not going to happen. So... Uh... How many summons did I hit? Because I can potentially use that currency. 65. 10 away. I'm going to get that. Just because we get a summon per day. And how many? I don't know if we get a summon per day over this entire event. Or how long we get it for. But I should hit 75. So I'll be able to get another copy of her. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So then we have this thingy. Where are you at? This thingy. It's time limited? That's kind of stupid. That should not be time limited. I mean, obviously, there's no reason for me to hang on to it for that long, but still, that should not... That sh Things that you spend money on should not be time limited. So, anyway, so I'm not going to get this yet. Because I want to wait to see. Like, maybe I'll wind up getting one of these characters. Uh, from just normal summons. But So I have everybody on this top line, right? Heliger, I want. Bagpipe, well, so basically that's what I'm looking at. Heliger, Bagpipe, Scotty, or Schwartz. She's really good too, though. Hmm. I don't think I'd want her over the, like, she's a character that I would absolutely build and use, but if I'm using this, I'm looking at Heliger, Bagpipe, Schwartz, or Scotty. And the problem with all this, like, Schwartz, right? Incredible single target DPS, a tank buster. But I have Rosa. I have her built. I use her a lot. She's not quite on the same level of pure DPS as Schwartz, but she brings more utility to it. And so, like, while I would like Schwartz, I don't need her. Scotty, kind of the same thing, right? I really like her as a character. I like her design, but I have plenty of parallels to her. Whereas I don't really have any parallels for Bagpipe or Heliger. So that's what I'm looking at right now. I'm probably going to get Heliger, but. Bagpipe is amazing too, but it's mostly just the sense of like, because you, if you're looking at all these, right? If you're looking at who you really want, who's going to help your account the most? You're going to want to look at characters like Blaze, Silver Ash, Aya, Saria, Bagpipe, Angelina. Like those are stage winners. Those are characters who will push you over the edge and allow you to win a stage. But those are also characters that are really, because they are so strong, those are also characters that are really common to find in supporter lists. So, like, I will never, ever, I don't care about her. Because even, though, like, I've never found a stage where I'm like, I need her, right? I have other characters that are good enough that I don't need her. But if I ever do, same thing with Silver Ash, same thing with Blaze, I'll find her in the support list. I have never seen Heliger on anybody's support list. I have never seen Phantom on anybody's support list. I've never seen a Schwartz. Those are all incredible characters, but they're still not the characters that people go for. And so those are the characters that I would look to use this on. But I want to hold on to it for now, just in case. Because it would suck to like... Let's just say I use this to get Bagpipe, right? And then tomorrow my free summon 
I get incredibly lucky and I wind up pulling bagpipe. <laughs> like that fucking suck. So I'm gonna wait until the end of this event to get that, but that's I'm leaning toward Heliger right now. But I might grab bagpipe. We'll see. But still. Thank you. I got lucky. Hope you got lucky. Uh if you haven't done this yet, best of luck.